On the Health Watch, some new research from Northwestern Medicine found that a usually harmless virus could trigger or contribute to Parkinson's disease. It's a major headline, and to talk about it now, Dr. Igor Koralnik joins me. He's the Chief of Neuroinfectious Diseases and Global Neurology at Northwestern Medicine. Doctor, thank you for being with us. Good afternoon, Marie. Thank you for inviting me. Of course, when you hear this information, it really raises the eyebrows. So tell us about this virus. And is it something that we should all be more conscious of catching? Certainly. So Parkinson's disease is a neurodegenerative disease of the nervous system, which affects more than 1 million people in the US. Some cases are associated with genetics, but for most of the patients, the cause of the disease is unknown. So what we wanted to do is to find out whether environmental factors such as viruses may be associated with Parkinson's disease in some cases. I'm a neurovirologist at Northwestern, mm -hmm. and in my laboratory, we have devised an assay that we call VaroFind that allows us to find more than 500 species of viruses, all viruses known to infect humans in clinical samples. And so what we did is to probe uh, in an unbiased fashion, the post-mortem brain sample from a group of patients who died from Parkinson's disease, mm -hmm. as well as a group of controlled brain sample of people who died from other causes without Parkinson's disease. And what we found in 50% uh, of the case of uh, Parkinson's disease, the presence of this virus called the human Peggy virus, which is otherwise not known to cause any disease, it's a harmless uh, bloodborne uh, uh, virus uh, in the brain of uh, Parkinson's patients, but not in any of the controlled brain samples. We also found that the patients with Parkinson's disease who had the virus in the brain had a more severe pathology mm. uh, of Parkinson's disease. And uh, we also found an alteration of immune signaling in the brain of those patients. That is fascinating. Is this something where we would know from our doctors that we've contracted this virus and we should then stay aware, you know, that this could be something uh, that we might uh, experience some symptoms of Parkinson's down the road once we have that information? Or where do things stand right now as far as that conversation between doctor and patient? This is an excellent question. It is a pilot's first of its kind study mm -hmm. uh, that reveals for the first time the presence of this otherwise harmful virus in the brain of Parkinson's patients. There is no clinical test to be done, you know, when you see your uh, physician uh, to detect whether the virus is there already. Um, but this is uh, opening a new field of research uh, which we think is very intriguing mm -hmm. and interesting. Since the human Peggy virus is a close relative of another virus called the hepatitis C virus, for which medication are readily available to target the virus in the liver. So if this is confirmed and we're doing further studies to uh, confirm and expand those initial findings, it would be potentially possible in the future to repurpose those medication for the hepatitis C virus to also target the human Peggy virus in the brain. But uh, at this point, it is too early to tell. This is a pilot study that uh, begs for more research. Well, incredible work, and uh, again, we're glad to see uh, that it's happening in our backyard here in Chicago. So many important discoveries and hopefully a path forward that helps fight this terrible disease. Dr. Koralnik, thank you for your work and for your time today. You're welcome. Thank you for having me again. Of course.